Hey everyone, so I'm back to the Undertale playthrough and we have made it to Snowdin. There's my little dude. There's the little flash and save point. We've got our little chest here. Uh, where, let's have a little look. Sorry, box. It's a box, not a chest. Um, very useful. I have a stick. Brilliant. So, we could have a little look in the shop. Hello, traveller. How can I help you all? Bye. A tough glove. Now, I think I've got a tough glove. I'm liking the sound of a manly bandana. So we've got seven defense, four defense. It has abs on it. That sounds pretty cool. A bicycle. Uh, we can eat it twice. Get 11 HP times two. Oh, a cheeky cinnamon bun. 22 HP healing. I love a cinnamon bun. I'm going to buy one just because I like them. Yeah. Let's have a manly bandana as well. Sounds good to me. And I think I have a tough glove, so let's have a little look what we've got. Huh? Sell something? Doesn't look like a pawn shop. I don't know how it works where you come from, but if I started spending money on old branches and used bandages, I'd be out of business in a jiffy. You do have a fair point. Take your time. Do we want to talk to this weird person? Keep chat. Tell me about the town history. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the car caverns. I was going to say the caravans then. <laughs> Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up camp in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost or can bur burrow under the door, forget about it. Okay? Tell me about your life. Life is the same as usual. A little claustrophobic. But we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? What is there to do here? You want to know what to do here in Snowden? Grillby's has food and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up here one day and asserted themselves. Interesting. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Should I say hello? I'm, I'm kind of doing this backwards, isn't I? Hiya, welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face, fresh, 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 fresh face around here. Where did you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? Okay. See you later. Bye now. Come again sometime. Okay. This is the very sort of uh, compact town. Oh, sorry. Yeah, bye. A very compact town. I was going to say, we can't move up and down much. It's just all in a row. I kind of like that, though. Efficiency. The inn. So, look, number one. Uh, no, the shop has just got a coin on it. What's the Z inn? Do you have a little look at the inn? Wow. I'm liking the look of you and your little friend there. Who are you? Mum says a sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's maximum HP? Well, my friend... Who knows? Welcome to Snowden. Snowden's premier hotel. One night is ATG. Uh, I'm going to leave. Well, feel free to come back anytime. Can I go upstairs anyway? No. I am blowing my ears off here, so I'm just going to turn this down a little bit. Much as I quite like the music in this game. <gasps> Look at that dude there. I want to see what's in here first. <gasps> What? That was like magic. Let's do it again. Interesting. What does that sign say? Don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the under snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. Nice idea. Who are you, my friend? Yo. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. This lady? Hello, lady. Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? What the heck is it? A little tiny bunny. Bun buns are so adorable. Tee hee. I prefer cinnamon buns. Yum yum. Uh, look at this. Hello. You look like a real pale poo bear. 
Awful teens tormented local monster by decorating its tree-like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Interesting. Can I have a present? It's still a carefully decorated tree. Some of the presents are dressed from Santa to various locals. Look at this dude. Hello. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. That is a good point. We need to wear more striped shirts, do you not think? We all need to look like crazy sailors. Look at this dude. Yo! This town doesn't have a mayor, but if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That is something you don't hear every day. That's politics. Grill beast. Yo! I am liking the look of grill beast. That's that big dog dude. Yo! Interesting. Yo! Hmm. Isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil, and when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. That's a disturbing way of looking at food. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. You have a fantastic smile, my friend. Yo! No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help! I want new drinks and <laughs> hot guys. Interesting. Uh, yo, I'm liking the look of you. The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm. I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture, but I definitely want to see some city slickers slip onto their butts. The jukebox is broken. I thought that's what was playing that fearsome music. Look at this dude. Yo, I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. Okay, as you do. Yo. Uh, you seem like you've had too much special bar juice there, my friend. We'll be serving up a glass of water, but it doesn't touch the stuff. Uh, yo, are you Grillby? I like that your head is on fire. Grillby said to Oh no, okay, that's who I was talking Who's this then? Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by the Undying. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. What a weird place. So is that, is it, Scrooby's absolutely pointless. You can't go through the fire exit because you're not made <laughs> of fire. I wanted to talk to the super duper dog. Can I drink? Can I steal this drink? I can't do nothing. I did like real bees. I did want to have something. Wow, that is a scarf and a half. That is my friend. I want it. Everyone in... Ugh. Put my teeth in. Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget their own. Mo I can't even read. To forget our modern crises, the dreariness, the crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. Okay. What a weird place. Hello. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so. Why be morose about it? That is a better outlook on life, my friend. I like you. Uh, the library. 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 Interesting. Yo. Welcome to the library. Did I just miss... Maybe I just got confused. Library sounds right. I'm going mad. Or was I? Oh, yes. Phew. I thought I'd gone crackers there. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. Whew. Um, books. While well, monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. But they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. And they'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. Weird. Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry, I'm still writing that one. Because they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defences will weaken. 
and the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with the desire to kill, um, let's end the chapter here. Monster History Part 4. Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city home. We braved harsh cold, damp swamp land and searing heat until we reached what we now call our capital, New Home. Again, our king is really bad at names. What's here? Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made of. But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. It's a good point. What about this one? Here's the school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are called as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favourite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Um, am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. Look at this dude. Hello. I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. That sounds like a better newspaper. I was looking at the news yesterday and everything was depressing. It was like, this one's died, this has fallen apart, this is smashed, this is all over, etc, etc. Where's the good news in the life? Stop being so flame and miserable news readers and give us some happy news. Cough, cough. When I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. We'll get you. What's this? Oh no. Oh, no, 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 Yeah, we did this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shh, 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 shh. This one looks interesting. That look in your eye. You're someone that has trouble doing crosswords, aren't you? What's this? Nothing. So far, Snowden is full of junk. Oh, whoa. What is that? It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. Hmm. I kind of miss junk mail. This mailbox is labelled Papyrus. Look inside. Oh, yes. It's empty. Oh, poor Papyrus. Is this Papyrus's home? It's locked. Brilliant. This one? It's locked from the inside. So what I've discovered about Snowden is absolutely nothing. Um, I'm not sure I want to go that way yet. Snowden sucks. Let's go here. Skip through here. Okay, maybe I didn't want to go quite that far. We got some food. Uh, I suppose we could think about... Oh, where is it? Stick, cinnamon bun, manly ba bandana. I wonder if we can call Toriel. Dialing. Oh. What about items? Stick, manly bandana. Info. Manly bandana. Armor, defense seven. It's seen somewhere. It has abs drawn on it. Can I, do I just equip it? Let's see. You equip manly bandana. Okay. So can I now see my stats with all that stuff? Weapon, tough glove, armor, manly bandana, gold 167. That sounds good. So we've now got a bit of protection with our manly bandana. And the weapon is tough glove. Let's just double check that there was nothing else useful in that there shop before we go wondering. Where was it? Over here? Ah, oh, not the inn. The ah, sh oh, sugar lumps. Here. Yo. No, we already had the tough glove. I'm going to buy a bis... Bis... I can't say it. Bisicle? Yeah. Yeah. Bye-bye. Okay. I'm feeling like we are prepared for whatever comes our way now. This game is so bizarre. I want that big bear to come and join us on our quest. That would be good. Let's go up here and see what's up here. Ooh. Is that a moustache? Ah. To be young again, the world is sure. There they are. The, wo the world sure felt boundless. What the heck are you? You look like a giant moustache. You aren't going to make me a human again, are you? What? Let's play monsters and humans. Hello? Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, my patience rewards me. What about now? Ah. Uh, 
Well, that's interesting. Look at that dude. Whoa. You are pumped, my friend. What is up here? Absolutely nothing. Well, I guess we'll be going the other way. We haven't had to have a scrap in a while. It definitely is misspelled. Where is our skeleton friends? I feel sad without seeing them in an episode. Okay. Oh, it looks chilly. Uh, it's looking of what? What? Uh. Hmm. Ah, oh, that looks like our good pal Papyrus again. You man, allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, <laughs> the admiration for another's puzzle of solving their skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be no lonely no longer. I, the great papyrus, will be your... No, no, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are human. I must catch you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus. The newest member of the Royal Guard. Oh no, Papyrus blocks the way. Papyrus, I don't want to fight you, my friend. You are cool. Um, how about I flirt with you? What? Flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. Well, I am a skeleton with very high standards. Oh, I can make spaghetti. I have zero re redeeming qualities. It's got to be spaghetti. Oh no, you're meeting all my standards. I guess this means I have to go on a date with you. Let's date later, after I capture you. Oh. Papyrus. That is not some complicated stuff. Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. Okay. Papyrus. Should we flirt again and see whether we can flirt again? Oh no! Let's date later. Okay, that's not going to work. I don't want to fight him, he's too cool. Uh, Papyrus, check. Papyrus, attack 20, defense 20. He likes to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to exhaust all possibilities before I give him a slap. Papyrus dabs the bone cologne behind his ear. Papyrus. Should we try insulting him? How selfless. You want me to feel better about fighting you. I don't deserve such hospitality from you. He is very difficult to fight. Papyrus dabs Marianara so Mariana, I can't say Marinara sauce behind his ear. Um Let's see. Can I spare you? So you won't fight. Then let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. Whoa, 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 whoa. Papyrus, that is quite fearsome. I can't. Ow. Stop stop slapping me, dude. Ah, now if this is blue, uh, somebody said you're blue now. That's my attack. <laughs> you're blue now. Right, I tell you what, I'm going to have to slap you, Papyrus, because you're getting on my... I've forgotten the buttons. Hmm, I wonder what... I don't think this hurts me, does it? I think I can just sit here. Oh, no, I can't. Papyrus... Have some of this. Try holding the up button to jump. Okay. Oh yeah. Interesting Papyrus, thank you for that tip. What? 
Ah, oh, man, we are getting slapped. Papyrus is too tough. Papyrus stabs Mount Brown attacks and slime behind his ear. Hold up, longer to jump higher. Jeez. Ow. Ow. Oh man, I'm in trouble. Papyrus dabs Mount Brown Beauty Lord Yocket behind his ear. Interesting. Papyrus, let me try flirting with you again. Papyrus is too busy fighting to flirt back. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. Whoa. 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 Oh man, we, we're gonna get beaten by Papyrus. Papyrus realizes he doesn't have ears. Um, I better have a Cinnabon, otherwise I'm gonna get in trouble. I can almost taste my future popularity. What do you think? Should we take Papyrus on? I, I feel like that's a bad idea. Whoa. But he is naughty. Papyrus, head of the Royal Guard. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on. Papyrus, unparalleled spaghetti, spaghetti. I can't even say it. Whoa, whoa. Ow. 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 Come on, come on, come on. Undyne will be really proud of me. I'm not sure we can win this. I should have ordered more buns. Papyrus is cackling. Oh, that was a good smack. The king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile. I am rubbish at this. So bad. I better take another item. I better chomp on the old bicycle. You eat one half of the bicycle. You recovered 11 HP. My brother, well, he won't change very much. We are too puny, man. I'll have lots of admirers, but... Oh, man. Papyrus is preparing a bone attack. Will anyone like me as sincerely as you? I did try to save you, Papyrus, but you are a pest. Papyrus is rattling his bones. Well, just thinking we better have that bit of food. 11 HP. Someone like you is really rare. Oh, jeez. This is not good. Oh, come off it. We are in so much trouble. A dating might be kind of hard. Pyrus is preparing a bone attack. I don't think we can beat him. After you're captured and sent away. See, how am I supposed to avoid that? I can't. This is very unfair. Smells like bones. Oh, my special attack. Oh dear. I said dog. What the heck? That's my special attack? Hey, you stupid dog. Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Come back here with my special attack. Oh well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Uh-oh. Sai, here's an absolutely normal attack. Whoa! Oh no. Oh no. Whoa! Oh, that was... Oh, the dog got me. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is ridiculous. Um, that's not fair. 
That's so unfair. You're too weak. I was easily able to catch you. I will now send you to the capture zone. Or, as Sans calls it, our garage. You're in the doghouse now. Yeah. I shouldn't have eaten my bun, should I? What's this? It's the squeaky chew toy. It's a note from Papyrus. Sorry, I have to lock you in the guest room until Undyne arrives. Feel free to make yourself at home. Refreshments and accommodations have been provided. I said that wrong. Near fully yours, Papyrus. Unfortunately, it's just dry food. Our little home is too small to sleep on. Can I just walk out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've escaped, Papyrus. Um, but we didn't have any money. And I'm not quite sure what we need to do now. Can you help? We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything. Well, we've done this already. Um, I wonder if I can buy another bun. Everything looks the same. I could have used that, really, to skip, couldn't I? Let's go to the... Sh Go to the shop. Hello. Um, I need some more buns, please. Actually, yeah. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Yes. 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 See ya. I don't want anything else. Bye. Come again sometime. That is a lot of buns. Will it save us, though, from papyrus? Away we go. Come on. We can do this. Brr, it's cold. Do we have to find again? I hope not. I am armed with many buns, though. Here he is. Oh, where could that human have gone? Wait, it's right in front of me. Hello, I was worried that you had gotten lost. It sure is a relief to know that you're right here. Wait a second. You're not supposed to escape. Get back there. Right, Papyrus, we are going to slap you this time, you pest. You are going to get done. Hmm, I wonder what I should wear. Come on. Papyrus is thinking. Think about this. A slap in your chops, Papyrus. What? I'm not thinking about that date thing. Right, I'm, I'm on it this time, Papyrus. You are not going to win. I've got cinnamon buns and everything. Papyrus is thinking about what to cook for his date. I'll give you what to cook. Have some tough glove. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. Whoa. 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 Not too bad. Come on, Papyrus. You're going down this time. I can always daze my future popularity. Yeah? Is that right? Uh-oh. That one's too big. Whoa! The pirate steps Marion on her source behind his ear. The pirate said of the royal guard. Whoa! Whoa! See, I don't know is at the end will we get it's just unblockable again, sort of thing. The pirates, flaming pirates. Whoa! And Dine will be really proud of me. Uh. Whoa! So I'm using the left stick to move that little heart. Oh, come on, Papyrus. The king will trim a hedge to the shape of my smile. Who's feeling deja vu here? <laughs> well, I'll just do this forever. Papyrus stabs. Mount Brown attraction behind his ear. My brother will, well, he won't change very much. The virus, beauty yogurt. I'll have lots of admirers, but. Oh. Papyrus realizes he doesn't have ears. 
Uh oh, here's the special attack. Oh, doggy. What the heck? That's my special attack, eh, hey, you stupid dog? Do you hear me? Stop my shit on that phone. Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack. Okay. Here's an absolutely normal attack. Ow. Uh-oh. Oh, man. That is not normal. That is just mean. The doggy is coming. Now the crazy dogginess. Cool dude, that's it. Um. Ah! I didn't realise I could jump all the way up high like that. I'm going to have to use... Uh, this is mean. <laughs> I think I need to... Hello? Well, off. It's clear you can't huff defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the Great Papyrus Effect, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now it's your chance to accept my mercy. Papyrus is sparing you. Okay, Papyrus, because I like you. What happens now? Yo, I want to be your friend. No, hoo, hoo. I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard and my friend Quantity will remain stagnant. What should you say? Let's be friends. Gotta be friends with Papyrus. Really? You wanna be friends with me? Well then, I guess, I guess I could make an allowance for you. Well, we, we haven't even had our first date and I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. Here, I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the service. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capsule, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit except someone with a powerful soul, like you. But that's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. And then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is, well, he's a big fussy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I'm certain if you just say, excuse me, Mr. Jimur. Can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> I'm liking the way you're jumping around there, Papyrus. Can I go this way? Ooh. Give me a save point. I'm exhausted. Midpoint trophy earned. What's this? Nothing. Up shallow, nothing. <gasps> wow, look at this. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her? Awesome, she's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. Aha. Yo. Hello. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. Uh, what did it hear? This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. Brilliant. There you go, my friends. That's a good point to save. We will go and see what Sans has to say in a minute, but I will save up here. If you like this, a thumbs up, please. Much appreciate any comments. Welcome. If you need more, no, I was going to say, I mean, tutorial mode. If you would like to see more of this, do let me know. If you know other people who might like this, please share it around. That would be awesome. Thank you so much.